tropical rainforest, exotic animals, mysterious cultures. This is Shishuang Bala. The ancient Dai people knew this place as Mang Bala Nashi, roughly translated, magical paradise, and I am already under its spell. The Lantang River is the lifeblood of Shishuang Bana. Born on the Qinghai Tibet Plateau in southwest China, it will pass through Myanmar, Laos, Thailand, Cambodia, and Vietnam before emptying into the South China Sea. This is the Lantang River. When it crosses the Chinese border, it will become the Mekong, where it flows through five more countries before it empties out into the South China Sea. These six nations have a lot in common, although they have distinct cultures, as you will see. 326 million people live on the Langtan Mekong River. It is a melting pot of culture and tradition based on centuries of shared history. What's next? How can this community be brought even closer together? This is Xinhua Special. I'm Roisin Timmons. This is China's one and only rescue center for Asian elephants. The staff here have 10 years of experience that they are sharing with other centers in Laos and Thailand. This is Ran Ran. When she was three years old, she was found with an iron clamp around her leg. Now, they thought they were going to have to amputate because the injury was so bad. You can see the scar here. But they used some dye medicine on the wound and she made a miraculous recovery. Just like Ran Ran, I'm going to try some dye medicine. This dye hospital uses traditional herbs and roots grown on site. It's really warm. Dai and Thai cultures have a lot in common, so it's not surprising they cooperate here. Okay, that was incredible. I feel lighter than air, but I'm starving. Here it is, the Mekong River Night Market. I'm going to do some shopping. Flower pancakes from Cambodia. I like this one. They're from Vietnam. Ah, he's Thai, making Thai pancakes, so that makes sense. Four years ago, China proposed targeted cooperation throughout the region and, in March 2016, the Lantan Mekong Cooperation Mechanism officially started. With an annual growth rate of around 7%, it's one of the fastest developing regions in the world. The mechanism enhances the way that the countries interact at political, economic and cultural levels. Senior leaders had their most recent meeting in January, where they have prioritised areas such as connectivity, agriculture and water resources and poverty reduction for the next five years. Last year, China's trade with the five other nations topped 220 billion US dollars. This river is a key trade route. Since this channel opened in 2001, over 4 million tonnes of cargo have been transported through here. I'm at Guanlei Port. From here, the Lantang will soon turn into the Mekong. You can see Myanmar over there. Ships that pass through here can weigh up to 420 tonnes. That's the equivalent of 120 Asian elephants. We the partnership on regional security was prompted by the murder of 13 Chinese sailors on the Mekong. Since 2011, law enforcement from Laos, Myanmar, Thailand and China have been patrolling together every month. This boat is where they meet. The Six Nations are working on infrastructure on the river, overland and in the air. In Cambodia, for example, over 45% of the state roads have been built with Chinese investment. Other projects in progress include the Lao China Railway and the China Thailand Railway. Education is another important investment for the future. China has set up 18,000 scholarships and 5,000 training places for students from the other five countries. The Lantan Mekong Vocational College is also under construction. From patrols to markets, from trains to schools, the Lantan Mekong cooperation demonstrates how developing countries can come together for a region of common prosperity. 
China is taking the lead as President Xi Jinping calls for an inclusive neighborhood policy that benefits all. It's no surprise that Vietnam and Laos were the first two countries he visited after the 19th Party Congress. The Mekong countries got on board and stay committed because, while the river represents a shared history, the mechanism can ensure a shared future. See you next time.